I cut the corn on Susie's going to give it to her too, and I'm going to read your cards for the week of the 12th of July. So, Sagittarius. Well, sorry, so Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What would the universe, angels and spirits like Capricorn to know for the week of the 12th of July? What would the angels, spirits and guides want to tell Capricorn for the week of the 12th of July for Capricorn? Capricorn. Energies for Capricorn, please. Energies for Capricorn for the week of the 12th of July. Energies for Capricorn for the week of the 12th of July. Energies for Capricorn for the week of the 12th of July. Energies for Week of the 12th of July. You've got the Ace of Cups, Capricorn, with the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, for the, I guess your element. So, wow, the Magician energies for Capricorn for the week of the 12th of July. For the week of the 12th of July. What's going on for Capricorn here for the week of the 12th? Week of the 12th of July for Capricorn. Week of the 12th of July for Capricorn, please. We have seven more cards. Ah, there's loads of cards I could turn. No, I've got to shuffle again. Sorry, Capricorn. <sighs> Angel Spirit Guide. What would you like Capricorn to know? Capricorn for the week of the 12th of July for Capricorn. The week of the 12th of July for Capricorn. Let me try it. One more card for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirit, one more card for Capricorn, please. Week the 12th of July for Capricorn, Angel Spirit's Universe. For Capricorn, one more card, please. What's the result of the end of this week for Capricorn? Week the 12th of July for Capricorn. Oh, so, we've got one, two, and one, two, on the floor. <sighs> Ending with the moon, Capricorn. So, Ace of Cups, your heart. Something's beginning in the heart with um, a, a monetary stability kind of person. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Right? The element is is money. <laughs> It's just Capricorn, it has to be, right? Um, you, you're in love with everything turning to gold for you and you're at a crossroads and you're making a decision of, of where do I go now? What tool do I pick up off the floor with this magician? This kind of Aquarius energy. Um, it's very intelligent energy and it's magical. You're at a, you're, people are fighting for your position. So, and it's great because the sun is here God is here. The Empress is, is the outcome of this initial phase. Um, you are... It's kind of like you're meant to be there, regardless of how jealous people get, or I'll push you off your pedestal. Um, the sun's shining on you, so faith is in this. The God resides over it. And you're very abundant creatively. You feel feminine. It feels like this masculine energy, this earth sign, has not given you a choice, but enabled like two or three other roads to open up where you can, there's a different feel to things. Now, you, you feel in like you're about to burst with creation or it could be even you're pregnant or you want a baby and you never thought you would or um now i'm seeing this it's like someone's not choosing in love they're not making a choice well there is no choice but i just feel that you're not going to jump into something unless someone comes toward you so because you know you're the empress, you're going to sit still. Because you know you've got faith in yourself. Because you're not moving from your pedestal. Because you've got options of four roads that you can make successful. And your will is very strong. Um, this uprush of feeling needs to go somewhere. And, it, and someone's not making a decision. 
and this page so that you so you can't jump into it you can't jump into this unknown but this this knight of cups is coming towards you to offer you a, a cup of love um and just when you think it's safe to go back in the water you realize that you need you can't get to where you're going but you need to walk away from love and just hand it up At that point, you're given this gift of money and a new beginning secure-wise, but you're still emotionally confused. It's like, what went on there? This new love came in. There was a choice of roads to take. You didn't budge off your pedestal. The sun and faith and God and, and joy are in it. Children, empress, mother, um, someone isn't making a choice to jump into anything unknown like they want to know what's going on i think or you want to know what's going on before you jump into this and this knight of cups comes and offers a small bit of love or a message but you're like you wanted this king of pentacles you wanted that new love you wanted the new thing because it, it was abundant to you but I think that person's coming to teach you to be independent. So I'm looking at this nine of, of, of pentacles on the bottom of the deck that's up right here. So it's going to leave you in a bit of confusion as to what happened there. Because you don't want this knight of cups. You don't, that's not what you want. It's too small. Um, there isn't an offer of a new beginning of security. But it, you're still emotionally confused. And I keep saying to people this week, so I've got about four or five signs I've got the moon. You have to wait the month of the moon before you, have, you, before you get the clarity on this situation. It's not going to go away anytime soon. It's like you have to wait it's because, because there's a reason for it. It's something emotional needs to be sorted out. And it, it's a process. It, it goes from moon to moon. <laughs> Let's ask the angels, the romance angels, what would you like Capricorn to know about the week of the 12th of July? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Well, maybe that's why the person doesn't make a choice or doesn't get in touch with you. Maybe he goes from being the king to the Knight of Cups, and he's not that king you thought he was anymore. But you could, but it does, he does make you feel like the Empress. It does make you feel that new love. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Now that could be it too. Because you're put up there on the pedestal, because you seem to have it all together, you're not making the choice, so it sort of demotes someone coming towards you. But they could have an addiction. It could just be they're addicted to work or addicted to money. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation. One more card for Capricorn, please. One more card for Capricorn. 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 Yeah, because God resides over this. It's like the let it, let it, make a choice. Let it manifest. Make it manifest. Angel, spirit guides for Capricorn. What would you like? Um, Capricorn Snow for the week of the 12th. Last card for the week of the 12th. Religious factors. There's something odd. <sighs> your love life is being affected by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Maybe you're having to walk away from this person because they're, they're not on the same spiritual path as you. And you feel wounded by it. It doesn't matter that you get a new beginning in money and security. It, it comes with an emotional confusion. I think if you maybe let go a little bit and allow something to learn from, make a choice between these two people. I would make a choice between the older person if it was me. <laughs> and I know the Knight of Cups is nice, but it seems that you're walking away from that emotion here this, you want this new because it embodies stability as well so it's it is telling you to let go of control there might be factors such as age gaps things like that anyway let's have a look 
angels, spirit guides. It's like you're stuck up on your pedestal and you're making a choice between four roads, but you're not actually making a choice. So it doesn't allow you to begin anything unknown. This Knight of Cups comes in, he wants to make a choice, but you don't want to be with that one. You, it's, it, it sort of blocks you from getting where you want to go. And that's what confuses you. It's like, why is this not working when that was so great? This isn't that great, but there is some kind of stability in it. But it's too confusing. It's making you feel like old woman, young woman, or man. And it's very feminine. It's very fertile. You have got the empress there. You have got the sun. Be careful that you don't magic a pregnancy if you don't want to get pregnant. Angel spirit. It's okay. What have we got? Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and, and mind. Patience. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy. That's that moon. Just wait the month. Um, gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action. Passion. I'm looking at passion now. I want to read that. Um, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. I'm the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. And I'm the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Yes, there is money coming with that moon up there. Um, you're going to be offered new money. You're offered love here and then you're offered money at the end of the week. But phew, sunshine's great. It's joy. It's children. But it could, could, you could be confused in love and someone's not making a choice or you're not making a choice and it's because they might have a codependency. There might be religious factors, age gap, or they might be married or, you know. But it's saying let go of the control issues and maybe let God like do this. It's like, I'm the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Maybe this is you, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, on top of this heart of love, this home. And you're wondering, you know, you are up on a pedestal. This is a great place to be. But really, you want this, this emotion to be right. And maybe this person's a bit younger. And they want, need something from you, maybe. So that, therefore, you walk away from it. There's just something doesn't seem... But here, if you've got everything. You've got abundance, you've got the sunshine, you've got the magician, you've got magic. So I think if this person's a bit younger, you might need to take a little bit more... It says let go of control issues, right? But maybe take more control towards the emotional side of things. Maybe this person hasn't got enough money for you and they will be codependent on you and you can see it. So, Capricorn, I hope I've helped you. Take care of yourself. And um, for me, I see this sunshine next to this. People want your position. And you're up here on your position. What can you do if it's God-given? There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. And this is why the dilemma. Because that's just who you are. And it's going to it's, love is going to confuse you this week. That's all I'm going to say. Wait the month of the moon and this will sort itself out. But I don't think you've got that much to worry about. Have faith because you've got the sun. Um, let me just take one more. For Capricorn. What is the advice for Capricorn for the week of the 12? Give me one more. Children. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It says chemistry. God, that's too dark. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations have been answered. And this could be the one. Okay, right. Come on now. Let go of control. She's Capricorn. <laughs> Don't wash this one under the bus or away. Don't be too quick to walk away from it because you feel wounded. This could be the one.
and they're not making a decision because they're worried they might be codependent on you. But you need, you've got money, you've got your earth anyway. So you need this emotion, you need some love. This is a difficult one, Capricorn, but it is saying this could be the one. So good luck with this and uh, please like, share and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.